Welcome to my channel once again. Today we want to talk about three different ways to search for items on 1688.com. As we know that 1688 is um, Chinese where you buy items at a very cheap price and uh, it's written completely in Chinese. And for you to navigate and um, search for item on this website it used to be something very to be something very confusing also because of that we want to show three different ways you can nav navigate sites and get your searched out but the main purpose of this video is to check which of these three is actually the best way for us so we don't waste time going through uh, necessary stress or to search for item we search for item in a way that will be of um, good uh, benefits to our search form. so today we are talking about three different ways we can search for the items first way is to search through the normal search bar second way to search through the pictures third way is to search using any language so let's go at the end of the video you which one is the best for use or that you would recommend for anyone to use once you have tested it so let's go number one the first way is to search through the normal search bar in english and don't forget this this so when you visit the website it will <clears throat> it's going to be written in chinese like you can see on the screen Everything is written in Chinese, but when you visit the website, we used to um, encourage people to visit the website through Google Chrome. When you visit the website through Google Chrome, the Google Chrome will help you to translate it. Either it gives you the option like this one <coughs> to translate it, or you right click the board. Now I click, all I need to do is just click translate because it's asking me to translate to English so I click and it's translating but if it doesn't give you that option all you need to do is to right click and then you see the option of changing to English here but because I've typed uh, I can't see the option here as me it's not there you will see the option So let's say you want to search for Shurak. So you type Shurak here. When you type Shurak here, it will bring out the different types. But if you look at this, how many? You brought out 92 products. That is 92 different Shuraks. That's the number of Shuraks that showed up when we use normal search bar. So these are the Shurax here, you can see all of them. This one is for 120 yuan, this one is for 2 yuan, yuan, different, different types. But we have only 92 different products of Shurax when you use normal search bar. So let us now go to the second method that is to use um, the picture to search. You know, normally, sometimes, you you go to aliexpress let's go to let's assume you are in aliexpress and you saw a product that is very nice and you want to check if you can find it on um, uh, what do you call it on um, 1688 all you need to do is to save the picture on your system and go back to 1688 and use picture search to search for the product. Why we do it is that on AliExpress is it's written in English, so you can easily find products that you want in your own language, you know, in the English language that we we'll all understand. And then almost every product you have on 1688, they are also on AliExpress. So it will make it easy for you. And the only difference is that on AliExpress is a bit more expensive than on 1688 so first thing to do come to aliexpress search for the product save the picture 
and go back to 1680 to search for it so, so that you can get it at lesser price. Let's test it now. We are on AliExpress now. Let's put Shura and see what we we'll get. When we tested in that place, we saw it for 2 yuan and some. Let's see how much it will get here on AliExpress. Like I said, <clears throat> the second way is using picture. What you do is, let's say you have seen the product on AliExpress, and you want to check the price at um, 1688. You save the product. You can see it like this. Save us. Save the picture of the product in your document. When you save it, then you go back to. 1688 and then you see this icon this big camera icon click on so shoes rack we can so we can use the picture to search for the item on 1688 so these are the products So you see, it has brought out the products. I see plenty of it. It's still loading. Let's see what it will on this copy. See, this these are the products. So brought out all of this. Sixteen eighty-eight. I see plenty of it. You see, it's even giving us more than you know. This product, um, AliExpress, was around um, eleven fifteen dollars. Let's check it again. Let's check it again. See, um, AliExpress. Let's check it. See. Around eleven fifteen dollars on um sixteen eighty eight it's around forty something yuan. Let's see how much is it? It's around sixty two yuan to seventy six yuan. See between nineteen to forty forty four yuan. You can see that on um sixteen eighty eight is far far cheaper. On AliExpress, so that so the third method to on 1688 is you visit 88 sites and convert, don't convert to English, don't convert to English. What you do, whatever you want to buy, first translate it to. Chinese, so let's say this is and uh, we have opened another site now. I want to buy Shurak, I'll just write Shurak. So let's go to Google Translate. Let's see, Shurak. So, using Google Translate now, you click Google Translate, that's what you type, it brings it out. You translate from English to Chinese. You want to translate shoes rack to Chinese, and so this is from to. I write shoes rack, then come here, translate it to what? To Chinese. Chinese. But when you want to do Chinese, there are two types of Chinese there. You have the simplified. Chinese in simplified fashion or Chinese in traditional. So I use simplified fashion. Translate to Chinese. Then this is true racks. What I will do is I copy this and then I take it to 1688 where I want to search for item. 
it's saying I should translate. No, don't translate, just leave it. I want to see the difference. So I call me and paste what I've copied. Yes, so search. Now that's what my products. can see these are all the products. I can now translate this one to English since it's bringing the page now. See, this one brought how many? See, searching. This one bought 100,854. Why is it like that? Is that this site is originally written in Chinese, so it's programmed to be in Chinese. So when you search in Chinese, it will bring out every product. Imagine 119,000. And the other time, when we just used the normal search, we just wrote Shurax, it gave us only 22 products. So if you want to get the best access to the products in China, all of them, you use, you search this website using Chinese language. But when you use Chinese, search for the item, then you translate to English, so you'll be able to access everything. See, thousands. You can see some of them because when we did that one of uh, this is three yuan when the list was. 9 you are 11 you are when we did the first the second one when we did the picture so you can see that the most effective way of searching on 1688 is to search with chinese language so you use chinese language to search for it but we can use english we can use picture we can also use chinese language and then once you have searched, you can see plenty, 119,000 compared to 22 products that came up when we use ordinary uh, English to search for it. So you can see that uh, using Chinese is the best, but you just need to know how to maneuver it. After it's come out, it has come out as Chinese, then you translate back to English so you can have access to all the products. I hope this video has been uh, a very good uh, useful tool for you in your quest for mini importation please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and also to click the notification button so that uh, every time we upload a new video you get the notification thank you for watching and please comment in the comment section whatever you have seen or whatever question is on your mind or whatever video you want to want us to produce next thank you god bless